Thinking of making your next car an electrified one? Well, there's an awful lot of choice available to you these days. In this film, we'd like to briefly guide you through a few of your options. Mild hybrid, full hybrid, plug-in PHEV hybrid and full EV. Whatever your preference, our sales team are expert in each area and can talk you through all the model options in each category so as to quickly find the perfect one for you and your budget. Let's start with the most transitional kind of electrification these days, mild hybrid. Mild hybrid technology differs from full hybrid technology in that with a mild hybrid, the car is never running fully under electric power. A small battery secreted beneath the front or rear seats powered by brake regeneration merely helps out with energy provision and slightly boosts acceleration. That means the efficiency returns of a mild hybrid aren't nearly as good as a full hybrid. Full hybrid tech is slightly different, the kind of thing pioneered by Toyota's Prius back at the turn of the century and perfected, primarily by Toyota and Lexus, in the decades since. The engines on offer in this category can't be plugged in for a degree of all electric range, so they're sometimes called self-charging hybrids to differentiate them from the PHEV variety. Full hybrid tech uses a larger battery than would a mild hybrid engine, which allows the power plant to switch in and out of full electric mode in town traffic. But if you want to go any real distance on electrified power, yet retain the peace of mind that comes with the extended driving range you can currently only get from a conventional combustion petrol or diesel engine, then what you'll need is a PHEV plug-in hybrid. This uses a larger battery still, which will typically give you an all-electric driving range of around 30 miles, provided you keep the car fully charged. And when the range is used up, the engine will seamlessly switch into combustion mode. Because the current WLTP industry fuel and CO2 measuring system takes a PHEV model's all-electric driving range into account, incredible sounding three-figure combined cycle fuel economy figures and sub 50 grams per kilometre CO2 readings are routinely quoted for PHEV models. Now, you probably won't achieve these in typical day-to-day -day motoring, but the important thing is that the government believes them, which is why benefiting kind taxation rates on PHEV models are far lower than the rates applied for other kinds of combustion engine vehicle. But what none of these various hybrid options can do is totally eradicate harmful CO2 emissions and noxious fuel pollution. To achieve that, the most obvious and cost-effective route on a salary sacrifice scheme is to get yourself a full EV, fully electric model. These kinds of cars will be most suitable if you have off-street parking or access to regular charging, so don't rule them out before looking at your local charging network. Starting into action by US brand Tesla, the major automobile manufacturers have now developed full EVs that really can go a decent distance between charges. The better smaller models can now travel over 200 miles between charge-ups, while for large luxury electric vehicles, usually luxury SUVs, the figure is closer to 300 miles. Now, because a full EV has a much larger battery than a PHEV, it will of course take much longer to charge up. Just how long depends of course on the type of supply you use. The industry likes to quote recharging time figures from public rapid chargers that can typically replenish an EV model's battery from empty to about 80% in under 45 minutes. These are difficult to find though, and will be until a better charging public infrastructure can be established, though things are progressing quickly in that regard. In the meantime, a typical 7 kilowatt wall box installed in your garage will easily be able to replenish your EV overnight. Not everyone likes the idea of electrification though. Some people's perspective is that combustion engines are intrinsically polluting and basically inefficient and that any kind of plug-in EV merely moves the environmental pollution point from the vehicle to the power station that charges it. These are the people who will be most interested in the idea of hydrogen fuel cell power which is predicted to be the next big thing after EVs. So, lots of choices then. 
The EV route that works best for you will depend on lots of factors. To name just a few things, your budget, your motoring preferences, whether you have off-street parking, the length of journeys you typically do, your environmental outlook on life, and so on. Plus, it really is an affordable option if you choose to take a car via your employer's salary sacrifice car scheme. Our business has been helping people to find the right EV since electrification in the industry first started. We can help you make your choice, then we'll be with you every step of the way.